Molly's heart raced into her throat. She looked around and noticed that no one was paying any attention to the fact that her 17-year-old friend was shouting and laughing whilst playing in the ball pit. With a deep breath Molly followed her friend and jumped into the soft balls scattering them everywhere. Instantly Molly was in heaven. She laughed and giggled as she swam through the balls then clambered up a nearby netted ladder to throw herself down a slide that plunged her right back into the large ball pool. She loved every moment of it. She had wanted to do this for months. She felt content. Happy. Jennifer wandered over to the side of the play area, she looked skyward. She was getting too old to play in the pit but she wanted to be with her friends she she stepped beyond the barrier and eased herself into the ball pit. There were other kids of various ages in the play area and one boy decided Jennifer would be a good target. He started throwing balls at her and one ball bounced off her head. Hey you little bastard, what the hell do you think you're playing at? Molly had been swimming past at the time and she was shocked by Jennifer's language. Jenny, you don't have to swear at him, he's just playing. Yeah but the little dick went and messed up my hair. She whined, regretting getting into the ball pit in the first place. Molly wasn't impressed by the swearing. She had been enjoying her little bit of innocence here in the play area but Jennifer's potty mouth had ruined her mood. She dug deeper under the balls in the ball pit and pulled out the digital voice recorder from her pocket. She pushed the button, recognizing the fact that above the surface of the balls it had suddenly gone quiet. Eighteen-year-olds do not know how to swear. She popped her head up over the balls and grinned at Jennifer allowing the older eighteen-year-old to continue her rant. He's such a stupid poo-poo Judy head. I hate him. Jennifer turned and stuck her tongue out at the boy, who mimicked her action and ran off laughing. Jennifer folded her arms, sulking, it was then that she caught her watch seeing the time she gasped. Hey Molly. Isn't your shift up now? Are you coming to with us to stay over at my house tonight like we discussed? Molly nodded enthusiastically, she had been looking forward to the sleep over all day. Sarah clapped happily. E-A-Y-A-Y party. She threw her fists up into the air excitedly, scattering balls everywhere causing Molly to laugh as the balls showered down on her. The three friends clambered out of the ball pit. Molly looked back at it wistfully. It had been such fun playing in there. A dream come true. She patted her pocket feeling the bulk of the recorder there. How much further could she take this dream? She gathered her bags that she had brought to work with her in anticipation of the sleepover and said goodbye to her work colleagues as she followed Jennifer and Sarah out of the restaurant. Sarah and Jennifer chatted animatedly about school and the latest episodes of their favorite drama series, whilst Molly hung back a little contemplating her options. Soon though the three of them were at Jennifer's house and she pushed open the door. Yo M.O.M. I'm home. Sarah and Molly are staying over okay. She shouted out. There was an excited scream from one of the rooms and a little three-year-old girl came piling out of the room and catapulted herself into Jennifer. Jenny Jenny yo are home. The girl hugged her big sister's legs happily. Molly loved Jennifer, sister Tabitha. She was such a bubbly little thing and it always uplifted Molly to see such a happy kid. Jennifer pulled her little sister off of her. Ah Tabby you're covered in paint. You got it all over my skirt, you, you, stinky butt. Tabby giggled and stepped back. Molly could see she was wearing a cute set of pink overalls with white flowers embroidered on the chest pocket. Molly's heart ached to wear something that adorable and without so much as a second thought she whipped the recording device from her pocket and eagerly pressed the button. She whispered in fevered anticipation, her hand trembling at the thought of the potential outfits she would hopefully suddenly find at her disposal. It's perfectly acceptable for 18-year-old girls to wear toddler-type clothing. The sickening feeling was partially ignored by Molly's excitement. The blackness swamped in around her and faded back out and she let out a large audible squeal of delight when she looked down at herself and at her friends. Instead of her restaurant uniform Molly now wore a pair of grass green overalls with chunky multicolored corduroy flowers and buttons stitched into them. 
Her long brown hair was in two bunches ties with yellow ribbon. Her black work shoes had been replaced by white sneakers that had Velcro instead of shoelaces. Molly jumped up and down unable to contain how giddily happy she felt.